Hello again, as you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy, and today's class is redirecting web pages with the header function in PHP. So we're going to talk about how you can automatically move uh, one of the visitors to your website from one page to another in PHP. Normally when we hear about redirection we hear about using it with a programming language called JavaScript but it's also very very useful in PHP. The main reason it's useful for PHP is to redirect users once they have inputted information into your web application. So uh, we've talked about before the, 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 the function uh, file put contents. So basically with the function file put contents, what you do is you create an HTML form. When somebody puts information into that HTML form, they're sent to a script that script then takes the information and puts it into a file. So if you're trying to gather people's email addresses for like a newsletter that you're going to be sending out, or if you're just going to be trying to gather basic information, you can create a form that will send that, all that information to a script and the script will then write that information to a file. But the problem is, is once you hit submit, you're going to move to the script that's gonna write the information to a file but then you're going to be stuck there or the visitor is going to be stuck there unless there is some way to redirect them to another web page. So if you don't use a redirection, they submit the data and then they're just kind of sitting there looking at a blank page and well, that might not be useful. That may not be what you're looking for. So I use, um, I've recently used this, this header redirect for a web application that I'm creating uh, that when you log in, it will redirect you to the index page. So basically what happens is you go to the login screen, you type in all the information into the form, the form sends that information to a script. As long as the information is correct, you're logged in and then it automatically sends you back to the home page. So that's the basic idea of what we're talking about here with redirection. Basically with this header function, it's, it's one very, very simple line of code, very easy. You say header, parentheses, double quotation marks, and then you put in all of the information. So let's go over to my computer and I'll explain a little bit more how this works, give you an idea of how it works and show you the actual function. So we're gonna be looking at this is Notepad++. So what I've done is I've created a very, very simple little script. So what this script does is it's a form that takes your email address. It asks for your email address. It then sends that information to a script that will do two things. First, it will write the data to a file and then it will redirect you to the thankyou.php uh, web document. So what this means is if I go to the web page that I've set up for this, so this is Eli the computer guy forward slash test forward slash form dot PHP, what happens is I can go here and ask for my email address. So I can say Eli at AOL.com. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit submit. And when I hit submit, it's going to write Eli at AOL dot com to the file. And then it's also going to redirect me to the thank you screen. So I'm going to hit submit. And now you see it has automatically redirected me to this thank you screen. So thank you for submitting your information. We will get back to you shortly. I can go over to the file where the data is written and I can also see that the file uh, was written there. The data was written to this file. So what this does, what this script then does is it writes the data to a file and then redirects you. Again, you could do this for any number of reasons. If you're asking for somebody's email address, you can get their email address and then redirect them back to your index page. If you're doing a login screen, maybe they can log in and then you can redirect them to the profile. I want to show you how this works. It's just very simple. All it is, all it is, like I say, is basically one line of code. So the first thing, if you're dealing with a form, this is the form that I created. So when I'm looking at this here, when I'm looking at this here, this is that form. What happens is when I put the information into the email address text and hit submit, that then will send to the script.php uh, script that I've created. So this script.php is going to do a number of things. 
First up here, we've talked about this kind of stuff before, it is going to create a variable email from the variable post email that the, uh, the information was sent from, from the form. We also have to create a variable file and tell this PHP script what file we are going to be writing to. So just file.php. Then, we've talked about this before in a different class, basically file underscore put underscore contents. We then tell it put the information into this particular file, put this particular information dot, and then we do php underscore EOL. EO what that means is add to the end of line and file append. So basically append, continuously keep putting new information into this file. So that's all the stuff that you should know all the way up until this point. Now all we've done is we have added this header function. So this is what does the redirection for you. So all you do is you type in header, H-E-A-D-E-R, then you do open parentheses, then you do double quotation marks, then you do location uh, colon. So this is saying where are you redirecting to? You do space, then you do dot forward slash, and then wherever you're directing the people to. So basically right here, this is where you're re redirecting the user once the, the rest of the script has been completed. Double quotation marks, close parentheses, and then of course, always, 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 never forget the semicolon. The reason I say that is because I always forget the semicolon. And then finally, you're gonna close the PHP script. So up here, what this does is this puts the data into the file, and then as soon as you've put the data into the file, then it redirects you, it changes the header to thankyou.php. So that just moves you over here, and all it is is basically a simple HTML file that says thank you for submitting your information, we will get back to you. I've also created file PHP here, which is totally blank, and then I uploaded all of this uh, to my, my, my web server. So that's all there is to header. You can change this right here to whatever you want index.php, about.php, profile.php, whatever you, you want to redirect the person to, you can redirect them. Now the important thing, the very, very, the very, very, the very, 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 very vital thing that you're going to have to remember when you're using this, this header redirection is you cannot, cannot output anything to the screen within the script that you're going to be redirecting from. So you have to make sure that there's not a space, that there's no words, nothing gets outputted to the script screen. So what do I mean by that? Well, when we go over here and we're looking at this script, you can see everything in this entire script is actually contained within PHP. What I want you to understand is if you try to output anything at all to the screen, it won't work. So if I do something such as, I say, test right here, this is not going to work. Simply by writing anything above the PHP code, that will cause a script to fail. Not only that, but that won't work either. Even though I have a single blank space, even though I just have a blank line, that is still technically outputting something to the screen so it will fail. So you need to make sure whenever you're doing a script that does the header redirection, there is absolutely nothing at all before the PHP. Nothing gets outputted to the screen because if you have anything at all output to the screen, it's all just going to fail. So the main thing here, again, I'll have this in the notes, is this is what the function is. This is what does the actual redirection. So you do header, open parentheses, open double quotation marks, location, colon, space, and then you say where you're redirecting to. So dot forward slash thank you dot PHP. Then I have close, uh, print, uh, close quotation marks, close parentheses, and of course the semicolon. If you do this, then the header works fine. Again, just make sure you don't put any text, any output at all before the header, and you'll be good to go. So as you know, I'm Eli the Computer Guy, over here for elithecomputerguy.com. This was redirecting web pages with header function in PHP. Again, this is going to become more and more useful 
um, as you start to work with PHP more, as you actually start to build out your apps. Again, I'm working on an app right now, and I've used this header function a lot. So when you log in, it redirects you to the index page. When you submit information, it redirects you somewhere else. When you go to edit your profile, it, re it redirects you to that profile page. By using this redirection, it's, it's just it's just an invaluable tool. It's one tool. It's one of those things. It's just great. It works really well. There are other benefits to using the header. Uh, there is more to this function than what I showed you just doing the redirection. But right now, at this level, where you're at, all you have to worry about is the redirection. That's the main thing that is important for you. Again, you can redirect to the index.php, to profile.php, to, to wherever you want. But this, as you have the form, the form submits the data to the script, the script writes or does something with the data and then automatically redirects you to whatever page you want it to go to. That's what the header function does. So I enjoyed teaching this class and look forward to seeing you at the next one.